The sneaker market has crashed, is what so many have asserted. My friends, this is merely the beginning. I think it's, it's probably a good time to retire that, that uh, word. Trying to lower the unemployment rate because that was part of our mandate. But in fact, all we ended up doing was raising the inflation rate. But also because I think people don't realise that as well as the three million or so already fully unemployed, there's hundreds of thousands more of us who are actually losing money every week through short time working. If you saw my first video on the supposed crash, you'll know this isn't true. In a nutshell, the market was extremely inflated from 2020 to 2021 due to the Federal Reserve's lucrative monetary policy. We, we tend to, 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 to use it to mean that, that it won't leave a permanent mark uh, in, the, in the form of higher inflation. I think it's, it's probably a good time to retire that, that uh, word. Following this, the market has simply reverted back to normal pre-2020 levels, giving the impression of a crash to all new sneaker resellers who only knew the 2020 to 21 inflated market. This is merely the beginning of a cycle, a cycle that history is quite familiar with. I have some good news for you, however. This cycle includes a recovery before the bloody crash. Work but can't find jobs are part of today's other bad economic news. The unemployment rate soared to 8.2% nationwide last month and it rose to an even higher figure here in California. A statewide jobless rate of 9.3% has jammed local unemployment offices. In the latest month, inflation has begun to ease to 6.5%. Consequently, many have began to naively believe that inflation will dissolve as the United States heads deeper into a recession. In fact, the Fed is beginning to decide that it doesn't need to be as aggressive as initially presumed with rate hikes. As inflation settles and the recession worsens, perhaps the government will begin to stimulate the economy again. In fact, Michael Burry, one of the few who predicted and bet big on the housing crisis, is predicting precisely this. It's in popular culture, yes, it's a foolish investment, but uh, everyone's wrong. <laughs> inflation peaked, but it is not the last peak of this cycle. We are likely to see CPI lower possibly negative in 2023, and the U.S. in recession by any definition. Fed will cut and government will stimulate, and we will have another inflation spike. It's not hard. Why would the government need to stimulate? It's simple. There are no forces to pull us out this time around. In fact, birth rates have began declining for a long time. Consequently, average workers' age is actually increasing. Like Burry explains, there's no forces to help us out this time around. Burry provides further rationale for his prediction. Velocity is nominal GDP over money supply, M2 here. Quantitative tightening plus higher rates starting to push M2 down. Yet, we are seeing a tick up in velocity, emerging from narrative obscurity. In 1978 to 79, rising velocity trumped falling money supply to drive inflation higher and higher. Redux would shock. How does the velocity money play a factor here? You see, Prices are currently high because of the high inflation. However, as inflation decreases, spending will consequently increase, creating a paradoxical effect, causing the velocity of money to then go up. Consequently, prices will then begin to start increasing again, causing a second wave of inflation. Think it can't happen? Well, that's precisely what occurred in the 1970s when inflation reached 14%. At the same time though, Unemployment was also increasing. When there's inflation, at the same time as high unemployment and slow economic growth, it's called stagflation. In the 1970s, monetary policy was too loose. The money supply was growing faster than the economy, and that led to inflation. People started to expect inflation, and they built this expectation into their economic decisions. That led to even more inflation, High inflation, plus other shocks to the economy, like a quadrupling of oil prices, led to a bad recession with periods of high unemployment. In other words, stagflation. Burry expects that inflation will come down so much by summer of this year due to the high interest rates that the Fed will begin to ease on the brakes. He predicts that the velocity of money won't begin to increase until about 2024, however. So, in between, 
The fear is that the Federal Reserve and fiscal government will begin printing more and more money again to stimulate the beaten down economy. This will lead to that second inflation spike, just like the 1970s. So what does this mean for the sneaker market? You must keep in mind that the sneaker market has a high correlation with the economy since people's disposable income is correlated with the unemployment rate and the economy as a whole. If people's savings and disposable income are higher, there will be more spending in the sneaker market, of course. So remember, I said there was good news with this too, not just bad news. As we approach the summer, the sneaker market will most likely continue to very gradually worsen. Now, that doesn't mean nothing will be profitable, it just means that things might become slightly less profitable. However, remember, it is very probable that the Federal Reserve and the fiscal government will begin to print more money again after this. That's one big positive catalyst for the sneaker market. Next, the velocity of money will also begin to start increasing around that period of time. Next, the velocity of money will also begin to start increasing around 2024. That's another positive for the sneaker market. And to top it all off, remember, it's not just about demand in the sneaker market. Supply matters too. And it is very possible that Nike and other brands will adapt to the low demand environment from the 2023 economy, thus reducing their stock production for the future month's releases. That is another huge positive for the sneaker market. Just like I explained in my first video on the sneaker market crash, how many companies would overproduce and overstock inventories, which is precisely what ended up happening, even with other retailers like Walmart, for example. As mentioned at the start of this video, however, I do certainly believe a sneaker market crash can occur and the cause of this is what may also end up provoking a minor recession in the economy what exactly am i referring to over ordering with the surplus of goods spending in 2020 to 2021 many companies began ordering many more products and many more resources than they usually would to compensate for this major surplus in demand thinking the 2020 to 21 demand would last forever now it'll be the opposite they will now be adapted to lower demand and thus most likely producing less stock. All the meanwhile, it is actually very probable that the demand will increase by the time those products see release dates due to more money printing and an increase in the velocity of the money. I explained this in my second macro video on the sneaker market. This is why the sneaker market will continue to go down but actually end up recovering. So that's great. It seems like we do indeed have some pretty green pastures ahead. But you know what this really is though. It's just a weekend of drinking and having fun. The weekend has to come to a close and you're certainly going to have a hangover after all that fun. That hangover is stagflation. Just like the 1970s after this nice period, we have a different kind of crashing coming. A beaten down economy plus a second wave of inflation, the velocity of money decreasing, unemployment peaking, and the cherry on top, it's very likely Nike and other brands will once again make the same mistake. Adapt to demand late, creating too much supply all while demand is falling to all new lows. This will be the real sneaker market crash. The great Timmy filtration will be notable. Few will survive this period. Clinging onto scraps of 5% margins will become the new norm. But we do have a long way to go until we do see that. Perhaps not even until late 2024 to 2025. In the meantime, when inflation finally submits and the money printer is turned back on, the sneaker market will start to see that beautiful recovery. Timmy's will begin to start returning to the market, but only to be filtered again in the future. Luckily, there still is plenty of opportunity in the market. February has been amazing in fact, and it's not just sneakers. There are tons of products that are still extremely profitable to resell right now. Whether they're collectibles, toys, Beyonce concert tickets, etc. You should definitely consider looking into broadening your horizons as a reseller, while the market is still filled with these very profitable opportunities. If you're interested in doing so, Endurance will actually be restocking this Thursday, February 23rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Endurance is so much more than early information and software for sneakers. We provide valuable intel on every single sector of the secondary market and even ways to make and save money outside of reselling. Whether you're an extremely experienced botter or even a beginner manual user trying to get your feet wet, Endurance is all you need to exploit every single area of this secondary market. So again, the restock will be Thursday, February 23rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I know some of you guys might think that the Fed isn't that foolish, or at least 
that they have the population's best interest in mind. Well, don't forget that when the markets were peaking in fall of 2021, the Federal Reserve suddenly decided that it was unethical for them to hold and trade in stocks. What a crazy coincidence, right? In summary, we haven't really seen a sneaker market crash. Rather, it's just come down from its highly inflated 2020 to 21 levels. What we're experiencing now is still quite typical. However, things will continue to get slightly worse before they do end up getting better. But eventually, things will get better. A lot better. Unfortunately, that won't last forever. Following this, we'll see the real sneaker market crash, along with the secondary market crash for most non-essential items as well. Timmy's will go from an endangered species to extinct. Only the true veterans will survive. Are you one of them?